One of the coolest things about the Texas Relays, beyond watching some of the very best college and high school track and field athletes, seeing Olympians do their thing. It's really cool when they're homegrown, like Leo Manzano, the pride of Marble Falls. Remember, he won Olympic silver in the 1500 in the 2012 games, last night headlining the 800-meter Invitational. Manzano tells us he had a couple setbacks this spring, so he's not in his usual relays form, although he does say his training's going well now, looks like it with that stride. Manzano finished his fifth last night. That's rare, but remember, his main focus is on the 1500 in Rio, which is still almost five months away. The overall picture this year is the Olympics. We have to run through through April, or excuse me, through August into into September. So it's it's March, you know, going to April. Uh, you know, I think we're in a good spot. I love this. I love this. As you can see, this is a, a family uh, a family event. I was able to bring Ma Max, my son, out. Uh, he absolutely loves it. Uh, it's just a it's a, just a family atmosphere event, uh, and definitely I hope that everybody can get to experience it. I think Max is going to have uh, a nice future. He had some wheels there in track. The heptathlon and decathlon wrapped up yesterday afternoon, and UT is happy to have sophomore Ashton Zamzo on its side. The transfer from Texas A&M breaks the Longhorn School record in the heptathlon for finishing the 800. Good enough to raise the lofty bar at Texas. Action heats up today and concludes Saturday out at Myers.